I said, bro, did you make these? Both of these drinks? He was like, they look familiar, but why they look so dark and tangy? I said, oh, uh, so <laughs> Is it all? I'm an RJ Squad. Comment down below. We can see part of the RJ Squad. If you're not a part of the RJ Squad, go ahead and hit that sub button right now. So, look, this is the reason why I just don't trust these females. I don't trust these women. I don't trust these. I just can't do it no more, bro. All I'm worried about, all I'm married to is the bag and traveling and living life and not falling in love because it's not for the kid. I've been saying that. I try to give it a chance after chance after chance and every time I do, it never works out in my favor or theirs. This is a story time when I got set up, almost got set up in the club by a female. Okay, look, in this new song I'm about to drop, you're gonna hear why I say I'm drunk as give me shots like what the f I'm like, damn, I can't f with you, you gon' set me up. It was not a joke, bro. This female tried to set me up by first giving me a shot, and I'm gonna tell y'all the whole story behind this tragic trifling. This female that had the audacity to set me up. You see this thing? To set me, the kid, RJ, set me up. Okay, that's a bet. Let's get to the story time. Oh yeah, by the way, shout out eight and nine for the vest. Shout out eight and nine for the shorts, no cap. And drop a like on this video if you don't want to be set up or played by a female because these females in this society nowadays y'all getting out of pocket but then it's not y'all it's the people y'all look up to y'all see your boy dreads coming through they really long for real like, like right now like i can't even see out this eye for real. i gotta put it to the side all right so right look look check me out it was almost what probably it's the 21st right now as i'm recording this video it was almost about four weeks ago bro not even four weeks ago maybe three weeks ago the start of Ju the start of july actually yeah three weeks ago uh, that first weekend of July. Y'all know it's lit, active, 4th of July, all types of stuff. So this is when people is always outside getting lit and having fun, right? So I'm outside with the guys. I'm outside with the gang. You know what I'm saying? Who? Okay, so who, who, who's trying to distract me right now? When I go out, I don't be going out to really talk. Like, I go out to talk to females, but I don't be, like, trying to, like, talk to a female to get them back into the crib and get them back in the sheets. I don't want a female sweaty as hell outside, breath hot as hell. They don't even realize it in my bed, drooling on my pillows. It's just a no-go. You know, it's just that's the type of vibe I'm going for. That's why I, when I go to the club, I just be outside just to be outside with the guys, have fun. You know what I'm saying? Dance to the music. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Get, get right to the music. You know, so that's why I like to go out and have fun. Because when I come back home and wake up the next day, I be like, damn, why did I even go out yesterday? Now I'm in the bed all day the next day trying to recover from the previous days. You see what I'm saying, bro. Going out to the clubs just really isn't worth it. I'm going to keep it a stack. Let's just go in there early and you're leaving early. And I knew it was going to be a long, long night because not only did we have one Casamigo bottle, but we had two. Damn. Two Casamigo bottles? Y'all know that Casamigo gets you acting right, gets you feeling right. The thing is, most of the clubs in any city... It's going to be downtown. It's never going to be really out the way because downtown is where most likely the police or the feds is going to be close to be just in case something happens. Because every time after a club, something is always happening. Not even after, sometimes before and most likely during. We decided to go downtown because, you know, why not? Bro, if I get one more message. So the thing is, this is why now I make cameo appearances. We all know what a cameo appearance means. It means you're there for like a short amount of time. You're not there the whole time where someone can see you. Go to the car, make a plot on you. So we never show up early. We never show up too late. Because too late, you're not going to be to get in. You show up too early, you're giving somebody the green to go ahead and make a little play, plot, plan it all out. I'm going to be in here the whole night. That's why we always show up a little late, okay? But around when we show up, that's when everyone is already for real active. Because 8 o'clock, people are tipsy. 10 o'clock, people is active. 11, 12, 1, the demons is outside. The demons is outside. So we pulled up around what, like? 10 30 and there's like a parking lot that we always go to and then we kind of like walk down to the to the clubs you know what i'm saying it's like literally three clubs next to each other one across the street and it's just like people going back and forth walking outside so we pulled up and so we're walking outside and i see the shorty i'm not gonna lie i, I peeped her i ain't gonna lie you know when i do a double take all right i'm messing with you if i do one of these i'm not messing with you i did a little double take on her or whatever i think and she noticed 
she noticed, and this is where I messed up at. She was talking to somebody in the car, but I wasn't really paying attention. And it wasn't like I was trying to say what's up. I just looked, you know, so I was trying to see, you know, obviously she's outside for a reason to get, get the attention that she don't get. But obviously she had something else going on, right? But she was with like four other girls too. So I'm like, okay, okay. Or five of the girls actually. I'm like, okay, it's four of us, five of them. One of them is going to be out of luck. So we finally get to the club. We in there, we still live. And around 11, 30, 12. Okay, around 12 30, they stopped letting people in. So, this was about like an hour that after we was in the club, right? Next thing you know, I see her again. But, like, she kind of in the corner and she's on the phone. Obviously, like, in the club, all that loud ass music, how are you able to hear? So, I know, I like, now looking at it, I'm like, she obviously was scoping out something, but I'm thinking she's just on the phone or whatever. So, I didn't go up to her because she's on the phone. You know, I ain't rude. I'm gonna get the chance when I get the chance. We at the bars, we dancing, we chilling, cooling, music playing. They actually started playing some music that I actually like to listen to, so I'm actually able to get lit. You know, most of the time, the clubs down here at least, they play that 98.5 radio music to keep everything settled. Uh, it's a club, y'all got security guards, the cops is outside. Let us turn up. Let us turn up. So I'm in there. Ooh. Hey. Ooh. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Dancing, getting jiggy. You don't care. For real, for real, for real, bro. When I start dancing on the floor, that's how you know I'm lit. You know I'm active. You see what I'm saying? So, all right. All right. All right. Alright, do not disturb. Airplane mode on that one too, because whoever keeps texting me, you're gonna get the work. Next thing you know, I feel. I'm like, what the? And she playing games and shit. Like, we, like, we eight years old. I'm like, what the? And she tapped me on this side. She's like, I'm on this side. I was like, so you didn't just tap me on that side. She's like, I know, I was just playing with you. But she was like, I saw you looking at me when you was walking inside. I was like, oh, so you did peep me looking at you. She's like, yeah, I had to. I ain't gonna lie. Because, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. You tall. And you look good, and I like your hair. I'm like, hold on, first of all, don't be touching my hair. I mean, that's the one thing you're not gonna touch right off rip when we just met. Come on, you can at least give me a hug before you did that. And you know what I'm saying? I'm risen her up. I'm like, oh yeah, word, I had to. I said, normally I don't take two takes. I was like, so you got lucky. And she started laughing. You know how that goes. And she was like, yeah, I'm with some uh, friends or whatever. Are you with some friends? I was like, yeah, I'm with some friends. They right over there, right behind me. I'm like, I said, when I'm on the floor by myself dancing, that's how you know I'm lit for real. Like, I'm, I'm really active. And she's like, oh, okay, all my friends outside on the balcony try to come because the, the outside balcony area is where everyone can, like, can smoke out or whatever. And I'm like, you know what? It is getting a little hot. I'm starting to sweat. Let's go outside. So I go outside with her. We're outside. We're chilling. We're talking. We're chopping it up. I'm getting the IGs from, like, all their friends, but really hers, really. But then they all decided to kind of somehow I got all their phones and I put all my Instagrams in their phone. They might be watching this video. Yeah, you dirty trifling. Yeah, y'all, y'all dirty. Y'all dirty for that. Well, now, not you, not the other four, but you, the main one that was playing around thinking we in the eighth grade. Yeah, you was trifling for real. So we outside talking, chopping it up. I end up going back inside because I'm trying to see where everybody else at. And I got people texting me asking me where I'm at. We finna go to the other bar. And I'm like, oh, okay, all right, bet then. She was like, wait, hold on, hold on. Before y'all leave or before you leave, let's let's go take a shot or whatever. I said, all right, well, while you get that, I thought she tried to have me buy her a shot. I'm like, hold on. I'm only buying some a shot when I really actually, I'm going to give it to you. Like, if I see you outside, like, you got to be in the club in that moment right then and there for me to give you one. I ain't going to just buy you one because I saw you earlier. Like, so I don't know what's going through her head and that's what she thought, but that wasn't sliding by me. It might fly over the other guys she messed with, but not me, not RJ. So after she asked me if I wanted to get a shower or whatever, I was like, yeah, I'll go get one in a little bit. I'm going to go see what they on real quick and I'm going to come back down. So I walk back inside. I look back to see, you know, if they on some weird shit. They just talking and I go ahead to them and I'm like, okay. They ain't really doing nothing. We chilling. There's like, all right. I was like, give me like at least five, ten minutes. You know what I'm saying? I was like, all right now, I'm with some shorties outside. We just chilling. We vibing. So by the time I come back down the stairs and get to the middle of the floor, she's right there. She got one. She got two. She got one right here and one right here. And she come up to me. I mean, it was on some middle of the floor lights. I'm the only one walking. I felt like everybody was looking at me because I do be feeling like that nigga when I'm in there because I know I am. And it was like right in the middle of the floor. And she like, some guy tried to talk to her. She was like, no. So other dude tried to talk to her. I did kind of peep from upstairs a little bit. I ain't gonna lie. And so I'm like, okay, she dubbing a lot of, she dubbing a lot of this right now. This is a good sign, man. This is a good sign. So I walk down the stairs, you know, say, I think I don't see her. And I'm like, oh, you feel me? You gotta play it off. She was like, here you go. And I'm like, I was like, I could buy my own shot. But it was different that she, she gave me, she's giving me one coming up to me, giving me a shot. Hmm, interesting. And then I'm kind of like thinking, I was like, wasn't she just talking to a car? Like all her, I was realizing all her friends were outside of the car when she was talking to people in the car. 
But maybe, you know, maybe some people in the car called her off. So I'm like, ah, let me not, let me not overthink it. There's nothing to overthink anyway. I got the guys upstairs. So if anyone really want to do something, we really with that. Oh, guys. Now, this is where I messed up. I should have her. I should have, I should have grabbed hers. But see, I'm trying to think two steps ahead. That she think that I would already hand, go for that first one. So then she'd give me the other one. You feel what I'm saying? So I took that one. And I think that's what she caught me. Boom. So I get that one, the one that was closer to her, and the one that wasn't out to me. So I get this one, I take a sip. And it was like, not, not a shot, it's a drink. Drinks should never have any type of salty taste. No types of salty taste at all, on oh God. I don't, even if the cup is dirty, you should not, you should know, ain't no way. And I'm like, I'm like, just like I'm like, just like that. Three times. She's like, are you good? I was like, what the hell? And then the whole, whole time, I didn't even see her take any of her drink. I said, what the hell is in this? Yeah, you take some of this. And you give me that one. Because I don't know what you put in that. And I don't really know you. She's like, okay. So that was even more saltier. So I'm like, oh, shit. I'm like, wait, hold on, gang. I'm like, then I'm going to the cup and shit. I see little bubbles forming and shit. It looked like it was a potion getting made in the cup. I was like, I was like who'd you get this from? Uh, 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 that's all, uh, um, uh, over there, the, the guy over there. I was like, and the, and the guy over there just happens to be one of the guys that I used to like. He's like, he's like, he makes drinks and stuff like that. He always gives me free drinks every time. Because we went, it was me, him, and my friend. And we went to, like, these girls' house after. And they had a stripper pole inside the crib. If y'all watched that vlog, the big swole dude I'm talking about. Yeah. So I go over there. I go over there with both of the drinks. I said, bro, did you make these? Both of these drinks? He was like, they look familiar, but why they look so dark and tangy? I said, uh, and you know, you know, you know, bartenders, they gonna know what a drink what should look like. I said, what you mean dark and tangy? He said, they should not look like that, and there should not be no bubbles fizzing at the top. He's like, especially if I put soda in there, it would have been in there for a little bit, but the liquor would have died. He tries to give me this whole anatomy thing. I said, okay, I don't give a I was like, does this look, is this really like how they supposed to not look? He said, bro, no. He said, ever gave you those? Pour those out. ASAP. I was like, what the, f I was like, wait, what? I turn around, she with two niggas like this. I'm like, I I'm like, wait. I was like, that girl right there with the two dudes in the middle was a girl that gave me that drink. He was like, bro, don't mess with her. I was like, why? That's the same girl that's been trying to set people up in this club in the last three weeks and you're the third, you're actually the fifth person that's came up to me last two three weeks on the same night on the same night that I said something about two drinks that look just like that and i'm like so you know about this and you just let her just do what she's still doing yeah i was like so should i beat you up first or should i go beat her up nah i'm playing <laughs> on my way i was like wait what bro he's like hold on, let me see you quick i was like i i drink i drunk off of that one and that one i was like you can take a little bit i'm gonna tell you now it is a little salty he's like i don't even care you know so i mess with you you cool Literally did it exactly just like that. He said, yeah, something's in this, bro. He said, whatever you do, I will go who you're with. Go with them right now. I don't know how quick this will, like, interact with you and how you're going to be feeling, but I would definitely stay by some people just in case something happens. I was like, what? Bro, immediately had my phone right here. I said, go ahead and come downstairs. They come downstairs. I put the drink. Uh, he took the drinks. He poured them out. I think he went to go to security. Kind of like pointed a little bit. Bro. And I got out of there. Now how I was feeling afterwards. Honestly, I think because I didn't take so much. And I already was still kind of lit from all the Costumigo shots. It kind of like worked together. But yeah. She tried to almost set me up. And I don't know what would have happened after that. After that, when we left and went to another bar, I was still feeling good. We went to the car. And as we're driving out, I see her. With the, the guys that she was with getting in that white car that I seen at the beginning when I walked in. Hey, saucy, flossy. I can't get none of them off me. You wanna know how to off me? Your bitch over here, she off me. Drip, 